y'all it's your girl Courtney <laughs> welcome back to my channel okay so I'm about to why am I yelling let me calm down I am about to start introducing nursing content to my channel because I finally feel like I have some knowledge to um, give because at one point I did I had none zero zip sorry <laughs> okay but <laughs> okay but for real so it is Friday. It's 421. I got my preceptor assignment. <laughs> Y'all, it is it's in an emergency room. Now, due to confidentiality and stuff, I'm not ever going to state my facility. Because look, we ain't about to have no HIPAA violations on this channel. Okay. But so I'm about to go meet my preceptor. Um I have a nice little ride, like 35 minutes. Honestly, y'all, I got exactly what I asked for. Literally ask and you shall receive when you when you talking and god be listening like he listens seriously yesterday i was talking to my roommate and i told her exactly where i wanted like i'm like you know what i'll go to so-and-so if i can get in the er got my preceptor assignment last night baby girl <laughs> i'm going to so-and-so <laughs> in the er <laughs> okay okay i'm done so yeah i'm gonna like probably like do preceptor vlogs in chunks I'm gonna tell y'all and part on y'all my experience. But let's get it, okay? <laughs> I made it. Super excited. The emergency room entrance. <laughs> Wish me luck, y'all. Okay, so it went well. Got all my documentation signed. Super excited because y'all, I wasn't trying to work my birthday weekend. Like, I can work on my 22nd birthday. Like, it's not a big deal because it's a Monday. But like, my birthday weekend, I'm, I'm trying to go to Atlanta and just don't work my birthday weekend. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, God, look, he own it, okay? He's on it. I am so grateful. I was worrying for no reason. So y'all, trust God. He will make your path. All you gotta do is follow it, okay? Good morning, vlog. Sorry, I'm a little lackluster. Not super excited to be on here, but it's currently 4, 42 a.m. I just want to sleep. All right, please pray for me because I do not know how I'm about to make it to the 12 hour shift. Okay, I was just a moment of silence, but I'll be leaving in about 15 minutes. So, wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. This is my current situation. Like, I'm literally freezing. It's 25 degrees outside. I'm so glad I came out to my car early. Oh, Jesus. Hey, y'all. Uh, I'm better. I'm lively. First day of clinical. I mean, preceptor. What? First day of preceptor complete. Started an IV. First try. <laughs> Successful, baby girl. What do you mean? Okay. God got me. Period. But yeah, first day was great. Um, I loved it. I saw a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot from like coming down off a of high from meth to like somebody who was not responsive who's no code so um yeah tomorrow's my last day for this week i'm doing two days in a row pray for me pray i get great uninterrupted sleep okay and i'll see y'all in the morning bye bye good morning y'all we are out the door it is like 4 50 um gotta go defrost my car Hold on, this is blurry. Much better. Okay. So, I uh, am walking to my car in the freezing cold. I have dedicated this to be my um, hospital jacket because, like, even though I don't wear it on the floor, too many people bring you flu symptoms in the hospital. And I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that, okay? Not to be up on my clothes. So, my car is completely frosted completely but yesterday i was early so <sighs> one second okay like i was saying I was early yesterday, so today I'm really not in a rush. Um, I'm chilling. I'm taking my time. So, yeah. It is so cold. 
I'm actually not sleepy, but I also KO'd on my couch watching, uh, trying to watch Sex Education on Netflix last night. Started a new episode, and next thing you know, I was slow. Honestly, like, I don't even think I started the episode. I think I was finishing the last one, and Netflix pushed me on over. But your girl was exhausted. Um, I'm excited. My teacher's supposed to be coming to see me today. So, hopefully that goes well. But she doesn't want too much of she's just observing because I mean like I just started too shoot but yeah that's that so I'll do a recap tonight hopefully I'm not too tired but I'll do a recap tonight and yeah see y'all then bye bye yeah let's talk we might have to talk when I get home because driving and vlogging with no stand isn't very smart but I just want to say God really blessed me with like the best preceptor ever. Like, y'all, they are so funny. We be cracking jokes. Like today, we didn't have patients for the first three hours. We come in at seven. We didn't get our first patient in the ER till after 10. That's how you know I'm in a small town. And we just be up there talking and laughing. And like, there's literally never a dull moment. Love them so much. Like not just my nurse, but the PCT, the other nurses, um radiology is cool like every everybody's cool like i've really been enjoying my stay got my second successful iv today was unsuccessful on two ivs and like i know that's nothing to be proud of but i'm sharing that because like people need to know like you're not going to be perfect like you're going to fail like ivs are hard like one of my patients today his skin was so thick like I couldn't get it. Um, my preceptor, I wasn't her name. My preceptor got it in his hand. So my goal for Tuesday when I come back is to start a hand IV. She's super informative, super patient with me. And she gives me so much space to do what I need without feel like I'm being hovered. Like, huge shout out to my preceptor. But yeah, I'll talk more when I get home because yeah, I'm driving. All right, y'all. I forgot to vlog when I got home. I know y'all are probably over me and this terrible lighting. But I just finished my workout. I'm at the sauna. So just to wrap up for the first week of preceptor, which consisted of two shifts. I am on day shift, so I'm working 7A to 7P, which is really 6.45A to 7.15P, but I have absolutely no complaints. Um, I'm in a smaller ER, so I'm not in a rush. I don't feel frantic. I don't feel like I can't practice. The patients have been very welcoming. I did have one elderly lady today who just didn't seem to trust um, minorities. So she like was begging my nurse, like, can you please, can you please put my IV in? My nurse told her, no, she's going to do it. And <laughs> your girl did it on the first try. Don't underestimate me, okay? I ain't perfect, but baby girl, oh, I know what I'm doing, okay? Um, but I've been receiving a lot of compliments by patients saying that, like, I, they can tell I'm adequate, like, not adequate. They can tell, like, um, yeah, I'm at a loss for words. I can't think of what I'm trying to say. But they can tell I know what I'm doing and all this other stuff. Like, one guy today tried to give me, like, the hookup with his daughter, who's a doctor in Miami. So, it's just been very rewarding so far. Um, I will say I am always exhausted. Like, I go to bed at, like, 10, but I'm always tired, like... And we didn't have patience for the first three hours and I was sitting there dozing. But yeah, um, really no complaints at all. Wonderful staff. They're very family oriented. Like today we had a diaper party for one of the receptionists. So it's just been really fun, y'all. Like if I had a moral to all of this, it's two things. Pursue your passion at all costs. If you know there's something you want to do, go after it. Because I always, not always, but like, once I got into nursing and I realized, okay, I want to be an ER nurse. Like I've set my mind on being an ER nurse and I'm not an ER nurse yet, but I am claiming that I will be. And I'm claiming that this is where I belong. I feel like God put me here to prove to me you're on the right tracks. I'm ordering your steps and you're, you're in the right direction. Just keep pushing. My other would be, Another moral would be to trust God. Like, I called my parents one night and I was just crying. Like, not even crying, but I was just, like, bothered. Like, Mom, I don't know what my preceptor's going to be. Like, I'm worried. I can't do anything until I know. All this stuff. My mom was like, where's your faith? And if she watches this, she's going to be laughing because I was mad at her. Like, 
just let me vent. And me, that's a whole other topic. Like sometimes I do just need to vent. But my mom asked me, where's my faith? And that's those three words was just a reminder that you say you're a believer. You say you trust God. You say you've handed your stuff over to him. So why are you questioning him? Why are you doubting him? Why are you doubting that what you've asked for isn't going to work out in your favor? Don't do that. Learn from my mistakes. You don't have to make the same mistakes I made. But yeah, that is the two morals of this week. Peace and out. Um, let me know if y'all like this content. Y'all know I don't really do nursing on here. So let me know if y'all are interested in this. And I can keep this stuff coming. I have some other stuff. Like, let me know if you guys have any nursing videos. Like, would y'all like to see a what I keep in my clinical bag video? You know, let me know. I'm, I'm here to please the people, all right? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, share, tell a friend to come here and watch this video. Um, love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. And I'll catch y'all on my next upload. Bye.